everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Mad 18 on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Brown Steelers going up against Tate's Lions. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL sends us to the state of Michigan as we are inside Ford Field in downtown Detroit. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hello, folks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. And a moment ago, Larry gave us a look at the two number one receivers that will be facing off here. But you think it's more than just one-on-one. -on -one. Both these teams, they've got a number of pass-catching options. And I'm eager to see how both teams will attack the opposite defenses because is it going to be where they're going to be a dart-throwing team, throw it short and try and make plays that way? Or will the long ball be a part of it? But you're right. Lots of options for both of these squads. This is fielded at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by their 35-year-old quarterback in his 14th year now, Ben Roethlisberger. Is it really true? that last year he became just the 10th player in NFL history, the top 300 career touchdown How passes. About that? I mean, where is time gone? I feel like it, it was his rookie year, and he had that great winning streak to start off his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but the best part about his game, two Super Bowl rings. And his fifth Pro Bowl a year ago as well. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And that's a big collision. He's knocked backward as they will mark him down right at the line of scrimmage. And a peek now at the offense for Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has long prided itself on being a defense-first team, but if you look at the last three, four, five seasons, it's been their offense that's led them. In 2016, they were seventh overall in total offense, and they can hit you through the air, on the ground. No matter what they do, they're hard to prepare for. Second down, nine yards to go. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, he'd always say, foul it away, lad. Foul it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depended on what he was feeling at the okay. moment. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he was usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? Eh. Now a first down carry by Bell. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. So the offense now dealing with a second and seven. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. We're back to the Motor City after this. This is the NFL 
on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And then it bring up a third and 11 situation. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. This is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. The arm has always been evident. The maturity has really increased in the last couple of seasons. How about 2016 for Matthew Stafford? Eight game-winning drives in the fourth quarter overtime, the most by a quarterback in a single season in the Super Bowl era. In fact, one Detroit newspaper put the odds of all those comebacks occurring at 8.65 billion <laughs> to one. It's crazy, 8.65 billion to one. I don't know that lightning will strike twice, but what a season. On first down at Stafford. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off, it's the Pro Bowl corner, Joe Hayden with it. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, Dwayne Washington. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Lions now.
First and ten, Stafford. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards there for number 15. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first down, Stafford here. He's going to float the... It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Detroit. Marvin Jones, 60 yards. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. now Roethlisberger on first down James has got it complete now before this second down play we'll get whistles and a timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half so we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout Second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. So the offense has it first and 10. Now whistles here before the snap, but it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. False start, offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. 
And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Roethlisberger gets this one to Le'Veon Bell and he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35 a big chunk on the ground there 27 yards you know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? <laughs> but you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receiver's eyes when he's throwing the ball. Burger on first down. Trying for Brown and it's intercepted. Nevin Lawson with a pick. The 40. The 20. 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Prater on to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be fielded at the six. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports halftime report. The Lions are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Steelers just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Steelers is opening up on offense. Whitehead's got the sack here. This will go for a loss of seven. First and ten, under duress, and the pass is picked off. Hayden's the one taking it back for the score as they take a 7-0 lead. Lions with the ball midway through the second. Jones is wide open on the deep pass. And he caps off the two-play drive with the score. Thank you, LR. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Stafford on first down. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's brought down after a good gain. A nice gain of 21 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On first down, Abdullah. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Final minute now of the third quarter. They go with Abdullah again. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Play action. Stafford. Fells has it. Left side. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions holding onto the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. down throw Stafford and now running right through it and he'll slide down to avoid the contact now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action.
Now Stafford hands to Abdullah. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Stafford going to throw it. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. But they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as to understand where they are in the field. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Stafford gives to Abdullah, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Stafford. Try to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, and it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Yeah. Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalposts. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So barring something extraordinary, something crazy here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Brandon, this will be a great win for them. The better team's going to win this game, no question about it. It's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is fielded at the goal line. Yeah, and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. 
And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Obviously a tough spot here. They need a lot of luck to win this game, but still a small chance. They've got to make sure they get the ball to the sidelines, get out of bounds, preserve clock. Back to the air, Roethlisberger after the pick six. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Roethlisberger. Now a desperation throw deep down. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. It's the 2014 NFL interception leader, Glover Quinn. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. offense they get ready to head back out there the clock cannot be stopped here defense can't do anything so kneel it down take it home no doubt about it is what you practice for in winning situations each and every week victory formation take a knee and go on into the locker room and celebrate call it a victory Stafford down to a knee and with it he's going to ensure his guys a victory And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.